Friday, January 19th, 2024, Morning Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Good morning, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News, the AI-generated News Digest Daily and Tele Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. Without further ado, here are the headlines of the day. Former Meta COO Sheryl Sandberg to leave board. Bone Broth's anti-aging and weight loss benefits explored. DeAndre Ayton misses game due to home ice issue. Samsung Galaxy S24 enables HDR photo uploads on Instagram. TSMC's Outlook supports global tech recovery hopes. Josh Giddy cleared of charges after inappropriate relationship allegations. The Last of Us Part 2 PS5 performance review. And much more. But first, this day in history. January 19th in history. January 19th, 379. Emperor Gratian elevates Flavius Theodosius at Sirmium to Augustus and gives him authority over all the eastern provinces of the Roman Empire. January 19, 1941. World War II, HMS Greyhound and other escorts of convoy AS-12 sink Italian submarine Negelli with all hands, 64 kilometers, 40 miles, northeast of Falconera. Today's obituaries. Lee Du Yong, brief Wikipedia summary. Lee Du Yong, an 81-year-old South Korean film director and screenwriter, has passed away from lung cancer. Known for films such as The General in Red Robes, The Korean Connection and Malaya Malaya, Lee made over 60 films in various genres throughout his career. Silent Servant, brief Wikipedia summary. Silent Servant, the American techno DJ and producer, has passed away in January 2024. Born as John Juan Mendez, he was a part of the Sandwell District Collective and had released several singles throughout the 2000s. Mendez was known for his work in the techno music scene and also served as Sandwell District's art director. Klaus Wunder, brief Wikipedia summary. Klaus Wunder, a former German footballer who played for clubs like MSV Duisburg and Bayern Munich, has passed away at the age of 73. Wunder was part of Bayern Munich's European Cup victory in 1974-75 and represented West Germany at the 1972 Olympics. He earned one cap for the Germany national team. Esther Zage Malero, 63, Spanish poet, video artist and translator. Mohamed Gotzi, brief Wikipedia summary. Mohamed Gotzi, a Tunisian poet and literary critic, passed away at the age of 74. He was known for his poetry with allusions to Sufism and childhood, as well as his tales and plays. Gotzi's works include The Book of the Water, Night Poems and Ibn Rushd Averroes. Giovanni Giudici, brief Wikipedia summary. Giovanni Giudici, an Italian Roman Catholic prelate, passed away at the age of 83. He served as the Auxiliary Bishop of Milan from 1990 to 2003 and as the Bishop of Pavia from 2003 to 2015. Orietta Grossi, brief Wikipedia summary. Italian Olympic basketball player Orietta Grossi, who competed in the 1980 Summer Olympics, has passed away at the age of 64. Ray Henderson was an English footballer who had a successful career playing for Hull City and Reading. Sadly, he passed away at the age of 86. John Hurst was an English footballer who played for Everton and Oldham Athletic. He passed away at the age of 76. Vincent McCauley is a Ghanaian actor. He has appeared in various films and television shows throughout his career. Macaulay is known for his versatile acting skills and has received critical acclaim for his performances. He has also been recognised with several awards for his contributions to the entertainment industry. 
Macaulay continues to be an active figure in the Ghanaian film industry, captivating audiences with his talent and dedication. Ivan Moody, brief Wikipedia summary. Ivan Moody is a British composer and musicologist who is 59 years old. Cecilia Ogwal, brief Wikipedia summary. Cecilia Ogwal, a 77-year-old Ugandan politician and member of parliament since 1996, has passed away from cancer. Simon Peel was a 54-year-old British broadcaster who gained recognition for his contributions to Gadio. Sadly, he has recently passed away. Slim Pazine, 78, French guitarist, arranger and conductor. Amnon Rubinstein, brief Wikipedia summary. Amnon Rubinstein, a prominent Israeli politician and legal scholar, has passed away at the age of 92. Rubinstein served as a member of the Neset, Israel's parliament, for 25 years and held ministerial positions in the communications and education sectors. He was known for his contributions to Israeli constitutional law and his advocacy for human rights and liberalism. Violet Siwela, brief Wikipedia summary. Violet Siwela was a South African politician who served as a member of parliament and as a member and speaker of the Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature. She had a long and successful career in politics, holding various positions within the African National Congress, ANC, and making significant contributions to her community. She passed away in January 2024. Heinz Tessar. Brief Wikipedia summary. Heinz Tessar, an Austrian architect known for his church and museum designs, has passed away at the age of 84. Tessa studied architecture at the Akademie der Bildenden Kunste and opened his own studio in Vienna in 1973. He taught at various universities throughout his career and received recognition for his competition entries and notable buildings. And now on to today's news. General news. Power line falls on car during Oregon ice storm, killing three, authorities say. NPR. At least 40 deaths have been attributed to the bitter cold weather in the U.S., with 14 of those deaths occurring in Tennessee. The state has been hit by heavy snowfall and freezing temperatures, which have caused power outages and dangerous driving conditions. Other states, including Oregon and New York, have also experienced icy conditions and fatalities. The extreme weather is expected to continue over the weekend. TSMC's outlook backs hopes for global tech recovery in 2024. Yahoo Finance. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co., TSMC, is expecting a return to solid growth this quarter and has given itself room to raise capital spending in 2024, suggesting a recovery in smartphone and computing demand. TSMC, the main chipmaker to Apple and NVIDIA, is budgeting capital expenditure of $28 BN to $32 BN and expecting revenue growth to bounce back to at least 20% for the year. The company's shares rose 8.1% following the announcement. TSMC is also moving ahead with plans for chipmaking plants in Japan, Arizona, and Germany. Samsung's Galaxy S24 is the first device capable of uploading HDR photos to Instagram. Source The Verge. Samsung's new Galaxy S24 phones will be the first ever to have HDR enabled for photos on Instagram. According to the company's VP of Intelligent Imaging, Dr. Hamid Sheikh, the phones will also offer other photography-focused features, including low-light photography, Super HDR, and video stabilization, which can be accessed through Instagram and Snapchat. Other Android partners are also working with Meta to expand the availability of HDR photo viewing. Former Meta Chief Operating Officer Sheryl Sandberg is set to depart from the board amidst the rapid growth of artificial intelligence. This news was reported by The Washington Post. Sheryl Sandberg, former COO of Meta, formerly Facebook, is stepping down from the company's board of directors after 12 years. Sandberg played a crucial role in turning the social media giant into a profitable digital advertising business. 
She left Meta during a difficult financial period, and the company has since focused on artificial intelligence and virtual reality. Rishi Sunak sees off conservative rebels as MPs back Rwanda bill. BBC.com. The first article is about Rishi Sunak's Rwanda bill, which aims to prevent legal challenges against ministers' proposals to relocate asylum seekers to Rwanda. The bill has been endorsed by the House of Commons, but it is anticipated to encounter opposition in the House of Lords. Several conservative MPs have voiced reservations about the bill and warned of potential rebellion, although ultimately only 11 MPs voted against it. The bill must now undergo approval in the House of Lords before it can be enacted as law. Business News. India's Akasa Air says confident about Boeing orders 150 MAX jets. Reuters. Indian budget carrier Akasa Air has placed an order for 150 Boeing 737 MAX planes, indicating its confidence in the troubled plane maker. This move comes as Akasa Air aims to enter the Indian aviation market and compete with other low-cost carriers. Former Meta Chief Operating Officer Sheryl Sandberg is set to depart from the Board of Directors amidst the rapid growth of artificial intelligence. This news was reported by the Washington Post. Sheryl Sandberg, former Chief Operating Officer of Meta, is departing from the company's Board of Directors after a tenure of 12 years. Sandberg was instrumental in the transformation of the social media behemoth into a lucrative digital advertising enterprise. Following her departure, Meta has experienced notable transformations, such as staff reductions and a heightened emphasis on artificial intelligence and virtual reality. Sandberg intends to maintain her role as an advisor moving forward. Bitcoin downside risks remain despite the early success of spot ETFs, observers say. Coindesk. Observers are warning that despite the early success of spot exchange traded funds, ETFs for Bitcoin, there are still downside risks for the cryptocurrency. On-chain metrics and indicators suggest that a price correction may not be over and a new rally is not expected. Technology News. Prince of Persia. All mystery chess locations. Again. Title, The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered PS5 Performance Review by IGN. Introduction. Welcome to IGN's performance review of The Last of Us Part II, remastered for the PlayStation 5. In this article, we will be examining the game's performance on the next-gen console and providing our analysis. Body, The Last of Us, Part II. Remastered has received a significant upgrade for the PlayStation 5, taking advantage of the console's powerful hardware. The game now runs at a smooth 60 frames per second offering a more immersive and fluid gameplay experience. The improved frame rate enhances the game's already stunning visuals, making every moment feel more realistic and engaging. Additionally, the load times have been greatly reduced on the PS5. The game now loads almost instantly, allowing players to jump right into the action without any noticeable delays. This improvement not only saves time, but also adds to the overall immersion, as there are no longer any lengthy loading screens to disrupt the flow of the game. Furthermore, the DualSense controller's haptic feedback and adaptive triggers have been implemented effectively in The Last of Us, Part 2, Remastered. The enhanced tactile sensations add another layer of immersion, making the gameplay experience more dynamic and engaging. From the subtle vibrations when traversing different environments to the resistance felt when pulling back a bowstring, the DualSense integration truly enhances the overall experience. Conclusion. In conclusion, The Last of Us. Part 2, remastered on the PlayStation 5, delivers an exceptional performance. The game's upgraded visuals, smooth frame rate, reduced load times, and effective use of the DualSense controller's features make it a must-play for fans of the series. Whether you are revisiting the game or experiencing it for the first time, the PS5 version offers the definitive way to immerse yourself in this gripping post-apocalyptic world. Disclaimer. This performance review is based on our experience with The Last of Us Part Two, Remastered on the PlayStation 5. Individual experiences may vary depending on hardware and settings. Everything announced at Samsung Unpacked, including Galaxy AI and Galaxy Ring, Mashable. 
Samsung held its unpacked event to announce several major smartphone releases, including the Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, and S24 Ultra. However, the highlight of the event was the introduction of Galaxy AI, which brings AI-powered features to the new phones and select Android devices. These features include real-time voice translations, AI-powered photo and video enhancements, and AI generations within the image editor. Samsung also announced a partnership with Google to bring its AI models to Samsung and Android devices, including the Circle to Search feature. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, boasts a large QHD display and four rear-facing cameras. Sports News. Josh Giddy will not face charges following allegations of an inappropriate relationship with a potential minor. This information was reported by The Athletic. Oklahoma City Thunder guard Josh Giddy will not face charges following an investigation into allegations of an inappropriate relationship with a potential minor. The Newport Beach Police Department was unable to corroborate the allegations. The NBA has not yet completed its review of the situation. Blazers center DeAndre Ayton misses game after reportedly spending hours trying to overcome ice around home. Yahoo Sports. DeAndre Ayton, the Portland Trailblazers center, missed a game against the Brooklyn Nets due to being trapped in his home during an ice storm in Portland. Despite efforts to help him get to the arena, Ayton was unable to make it, and the Blazers ultimately won the game without him. Ayton is averaging 13.1 points and 10.8 rebounds per game this season. People born on this day... January 19, 1971, Sean Wyans, American actor, producer, and screenwriter. January 19, 1984, Fabio Catechini, Italian footballer. January 19, 1985, Elliot Ward, English footballer. Health news. Bone broth is going viral for its anti-aging and weight loss benefits. Does it really work? Experts explain AOL. Bone broth is a popular trend due to its perceived health benefits. It is made by simmering animal bones, joints, and connective tissue for an extended period of time. The nutritional content of bone broth varies depending on the type of bones used and added ingredients. It is rich in vitamins and minerals and is a good source of protein. Bone broth can help with hydration and can be a beneficial addition to a healthy diet. OCD sufferers face much higher risk of death. Groundbreaking study, New York Post. People with obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, have a significantly higher risk of death, both from natural and unnatural causes, according to a study conducted in Sweden. The research, which is the largest study of mortality in people with OCD, found that individuals with OCD had an 82% increased risk of death overall. They faced a 31% increased risk of natural death and a threefold greater risk of dying from unnatural causes. The study also revealed that people with OCD had a reduced risk of death due to tumors, but an increased risk of suicide and accidents. Forget sit-ups. You only need three standing ab exercises, 15 minutes, and one kettlebell to build your core. Tom's Guide. This article discusses three standing ab exercises using a kettlebell that can sculpt and strengthen the core. It emphasizes the benefits of working with kettlebells and provides step-by-step -step instructions for each exercise. Additionally, it offers a three-move standing kettlebell ab workout to try. The seven things you need to know for Thursday, January 18th, the Washington Post. The article warns that AI gadgets, which could be popular in 2024, may have significant flaws, be unsettling, or simply bad ideas. Entertainment News. The Princess of Wales and King Charles make royal headlines as they head to the hospital this morning. Chicago PD recap season 11. Episode 1 is Upstead getting a divorce. TV line. The season 11 premiere of Chicago PD revealed that both Halstead and Upton signed divorce papers, but Upton hadn't mailed them in yet. Upton's emotional state affects her ability to solve a case, and she confides in Voight about her struggles. Ruzek is still off the job due to being shot and not passing his physicals. 
which puts strain on him and his relationship with Burgess. The season will focus on Upton and Ruzek's journeys to overcome their issues. Now a couple of dad jokes for you. Why couldn't the kids see the pirate movie? Because it was rated R. Do you want a brief explanation of what an acorn is? In a nutshell, it's an oak tree. I went to a Foo Fighters concert once. It was ever long. Thank you for watching this AGNDD Intelli Report. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers. <laughs>